Okay, hello everybody and welcome to our very first uh, game for the SUNY Potsdam Esports uh, team today. Uh, it is going to be uh, quite the uh, excited match, I'm sure, as it's an old rivalry here between SUNY Potsdam and SUNY Canton, our friends uh, 20 minutes down the road. Uh, as we can look here, uh, we're, our first map is going to be Icebox, as we see Agent Select come in. Um, on the attack first, we will be having the uh, Potsdam Bears attacking. Or no, actually, it's quite the opposite. Uh, the Potsdam Bears will be defending first, and the uh, Canton Roos will be attacking first. So let me uh, switch around these uh, these name titles quickly. Get these fixed up real quick. There we go. Now we're on the right side. Anyways, as I was saying earlier, uh, we do have uh, Sunni Canton on attack and Potsdam on defense. It'll just looking like we're going to have uh, Mirror and Vipers on both sides for our controllers. Um, slightly different. Different initiators here with the double initiator comp coming out from Sunni Can with that breach uh, and that fade. Fade to find a lot of your info and breach to really be your entry here because uh, breach's stuns and flashes really can create quite the uh, the issue when uh, trying to take uh, sight and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it's looking like we're going to be running a double duelist setup. On defense for Potsdam, uh, as they're going to have the jet, which is a pretty common pick. Uh, however, we are now seeing this Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix isn't seen quite often, but we'll see what they can make do with it. As they uh, go into their defensive side, it's looking like they're going to be holding a 2-1-2 uh, defense. Um, put in two people on either site, and then one holding B, which in this case is going to be... Uh, BB Gamer on this Killjoy. Uh, setting up these this turret and you can see on that mini-map that little icon uh, slightly to the left uh, is an alarm bot which will get a lot of info if, if the opposing team decides to make any progress towards the site. However, it is looking like uh, Suni Canton is posturing here for this quick B push and we have uh, Heiser on the Viper here. Uh, great smokes, great util here to keep them out. And we do have uh, this Phoenix. Great flash by the Phoenix. Two quick kills picked up by the defense. With the pushing forward, bringing this down to a 3v1 as a massive play. Uh, all, as you saw, most of the team, most of Suni Potsdam rotated quick enough uh, over to this B site, managing to shut down that push quite uh, convincingly. And uh, a very uh, great flash by from Maintain Sanity uh, on this Phoenix. Managing to blind up quite a few of them on the other side of yellow. Uh, and allowing for two or three kills to come off of it. So great utility usage early. And it's looking like uh, it's going to be a buy round uh, for SUNY Potsdam. And it's going to be a very full save uh, for SUNY Canton. As they're starting to set up over towards this A site. Um, Chief getting a couple tags there. That's some good damage done to the Rays and the uh, Killjoy on the other team as they're set up high and, and rotating over toward to take this high ground. Um, keep an eye out on this flank coming in, it looks like, from, from Heiser. Although it does look like everybody's kind of grouping up around this A site. And what's Sunni Canton going to do here? They're kind of waiting as that drone goes through. Looking to, to push this site in, in a minute or two. You can see Heiser and, and Maintain Sanity are both in this mid area. Rotating back, it looks like. Maybe they're not sure. They're, Suni Canton has cut all noise. Making it seem like they may be rotating. And that, that actually might work for them here. As, as lots of uh, members of Suni Potsdam have pulled themselves away from the site. Although, Chief here is... Gonna go for a couple of jump peaks. Isn't gonna see anything yet. Oh, did just spot one of them. As uh, so here comes this full-on push 
Uh, everybody just kind of swarm in the site, and then we'll just kind of see. They are going to get this spike plant. That's a kill against Lawothi Lo there. Let their initiator gone, and, and a post plant set up. But Potsdam does have the better weaponry here. Is a lot of can is is in back sight. Low health on a lot of them here, and quick pick by Frosty, but it, had, it comes down to a 2v2, and the weapon advantage is on Sunny Potsdam here. There goes Amali to deny that plant, but BB Gamer, a quick couple kills with that Marshall, uh, manages to close the round out. Very well done by them, uh, but that does, that was a lot closer than it should have been with Sunny uh, Canton. Uh, having those weaker weapons, so not a bad round uh, for them, as this is going to force a buy out of a lot of them, and it looks like this operator is going to be in play very early for Chief. A very messy buy. Um, we'll see if it gets value, as we're going to have, it looks like kind of a force buy. Uh, a couple rifles, a Spectre, an Ares, and, a, and an operator, so... A lot of weird, a lot of weird things here with uh, no armor on Heiser, as it is going to look like a B split, as a couple of Sunni Canton are 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 push are posturing towards uh, mid and towards that B site. Uh, Maintain Sanity did notice a couple of those B players pushing their way up, and uh, we'll quickly go over to BB Gamer here as they did push up to uh, Tube, managed to get some damage, but. MMR Reaper did get that kill. They have noticed this Phoenix here. What can he get out of this play? Oh, a lot of util being thrown at him. He got grabbed. He got nano swarmed. The cheese picking off Heiser. Not what you're hoping for there. But Chief does get a pick with that op. Frosty holding that angle though. Very good kill by them. It's now a 4v2. On this B site, and we're watching as Chief is working their way in Snowman, trying to see if they can get any picks here. Does have the angle, but good on Sunni Canton for not peeking, as we do have Lewithi here. As they push together, it's going to be a very difficult task for them. As a four a four v two with a lot of util. There is that swarm, followed by a... Oh, but Lilithi is making this possible. Getting a quick couple kills. They have to get this defused in soon, though. Oh, that was just a great flash, flash by the cheese. Managing to get two kills, uh, as no one could really see. And that's a lot of weapons out of Sunni Potsdam's hand, and a lot of weapon out, uh, weapons out of... Um, Potsdam and Canton's hand. So I believe Canton, yep, gonna be in a little bit of a rough spot here, buying a lot of bulldogs. Uh, you can you do see that one weapon uh, carried over by the cheese, as he will be able to buy also for uh, inner shim their fade. So they have a a pretty full buy, uh, albeit maybe not the strongest buy. And Sony Potsdam's gonna have to be on a, a full save here. Um, as they completely got destroyed that last round and fully bought into it. So we're watching as it looks like there's going to be some early aggression here by uh, Chief and Maintain Sanity. Doing a little bit of damage, not quite able to find that kill uh, as Frosty is able to clean up both of those flankers. And it's now just going to be this 5v3 on site. Uh, a difficult ask and it looks like they have the read they've noticed uh, everybody on site and uh, Sunni Canton here is going to start rotating over to this free a site uh, should get a spike plant down and uh, BB Gamer BB Gamer here to greet them but not a whole lot you can do with this classic we'll see what if they can get any damage Done. Maybe force a couple extra repurchases here. There goes that breach aftershock. Does a lot of damage if you stand near it. But they do manage to avoid that. Um, 
You little thief. Doing a good amount of damage there. MMR Reaper. Cleaning up the fight as was kind of expected there. When you have those rifles against those classics, it is a pretty difficult ask. However, they did get quite a few of those, uh, the enemy players low. So, uh, good damage done. It will force a couple of repurchases on those shields. And this should be a full buy back in for Sumi Potsdam. And uh, if all goes well, this should be a, a win as they do have better weapons here. Stronger weapons. Uh, those Vandals much better than the Bulldogs. Uh, as long as they're played uh carefully and, and smartly and it looks like similar setups as all the other rounds 2-1-2 KJ in mid but this is gonna be it looks like more of a full push towards this mid area uh chief is gonna be playing with those that blade storm and BB gamer has an angle here didn't take any of those shots already maybe waiting for their team to be able to do more and a spray through this, that blind by the fade. He manages to get that kill. Very good. Uh, Luwuthi getting a couple kills here. MMR Reaper. It's it's a close one here. Great shock dart though. Managing to secure that kill. And a KJ all on top of it through the defuse. Not a whole lot that they, they can do there. Very well done by Sunni Potsdam. Great. Uh, util usage, great kills, managed to secure that round. And we'll see, maybe they'll vary their setup here. They do know the setup for, uh, Suni Canton knows Suni Potsdam's setup pretty, pretty well. So we'll see if maybe they, they switch it up a little bit. Throw a couple people on some different sites, but it's looking very similar, and it's looking like Sunni Canton's posturing for this early A aggression. Maybe going for a quick A execute here. It is going to be even weaponry across the board. Um, rifles for everybody, and that op back in the hands of Chief. Uh, set up on this A position, so we'll see if they can get a lot of a more, I guess out of this op than they did last time because last time uh not a whole lot was done they kind of pushed b and then the op didn't end up getting anything so you can see him holding this angle pretty tightly and it looks like there may be a little bit of a fight here in mid uh you, you see both the vipers kind of checking each other out and help oh, that uh heiser going for a little bit of a walkabout did manage to uh get picked by the other uh, enemy viper as it looks like Sunny Canton off of the back of that lockdown being their lockdown being destroyed is going to do a quick rotate to B. Um, it doesn't look like Sunny Potsdam's read this yet so they'll have a pretty free sight with only this phoenix waiting for them. That's a breach ult going through or no not a breach ult. Yeah it was the breach ult going through. Uh, doesn't manage to catch anybody but it secures them a spike plant. This is that run it back. Really great ult. Great kill. I maintain sanity that's uh that also allows you to basically have a second life uh send in a clone of yourself forward that can still do damage um as they're pushing forward a little bit here posture for this retake it is going to be a four on four uh that dart doesn't see anything behind yellow so they may not expect this man uh nope luthi manages to check it a great flash blinds both of the remaining players holding this angle great kills it is a 3v1 now and not quite able to close that out yet but the defuse is coming in and bb gamer does get off that afterward and finish off that kill so that is another round on the board uh great plays by suny potsdam taking down that lockdown and then quickly rotating great pick uh by maintain sanity managing to uh, delay just a little bit uh, and get that, that kill to even out the numbers, uh, making it a much more doable retake. Also, getting rid of that KJ is a pretty strong thing to do, considering a lot of her util is used in that post plant to delay the spike. So that forced them to have to peek more uh, and made it easier for the, the Sunni Pots time to get some kills. Now, this is looking like a pretty fast push towards this mid site. We saw this a couple rounds before. 
Um, BB Gamer aware of it this time, kind of spamming through it. Oh, they're pushing up fast into here. Still does manage to get a kill here. Great kill there. Uh, giving him one rifle, though. It was a bit, a bit of a stinger rush, it does look like. So they are in tube now. Elo Thief managing to catch out Heiser, and it is now a 4v1 on site. Maintain Sanity has a lot to do here and not able to quite finish that out. Uh, this brings it down to this 2v4, and it looks like it's going to be a bit of a save for Sumi Potsdam. As uh, it is a tall task to ask uh, for a uh, 2v4 when these post plants are so strong and they don't really have a way in. So it looks like they'll be able to save their weaponry. We'll see if Sunni Canton decides to chase them down. My guess is they'll probably be happy with the round and uh, back off trying to save their own weapons into the next round. Uh, so they don't have to spend any money on them. It is quite nice when you get some free weapons, that's for sure. And it does look like they are going to rotate out. Ooh, with the maybe go, going to get a pick here in mid. We'll just see. As he does. He does manage to get the one. So carrying three rifles through and then an op and a rifle for Sumi Potsdam. We're going to see a similar setup. It does look like Chief might be going towards a different site this time. Like I said earlier... Um, probably need to start varying their defense here as they've always been in the same spot. Uh, it looks like Chief and Maintain Sanity will be hanging out on B. Maybe playing retake. What's their weapons look like here? It looks like it's a bit of a half buy here. Um, couple stronger weapons on the survivors and then not as great weapons on, on the, uh, the rest of the ones that died. And it's looking like an A push and only Lewithy uh, here to, to greet that. However, it does look like they're moving a little slower now. And he's going to uh, look through here. Probably going to use this drone. Try to get a little bit of info. A very quick rotate from SUNY Potsdam. Uh, you can you notice them all around this A site. We'll see what they can get done. As it does look like that drone didn't see anything. Uh, destroyed before it got through that Viper wall. However, this sonar might get a couple. E that sonar marks three people there. Letting them, Sunni Potsdam, know that uh, there's still people hanging out around here. A little bit of early damage in, but here's this fatal. Uh, this cuts noise for everybody uh, and marks them on the uh, marks their trails, so you can follow them. Uh, however, as of right now, still no one losing their life yet. It is a full five v five retake. Uh, Breach stunning over there, pushing them back. A lot of damage. That op still not finding much value. Um, as it gets picked out, uh, picked off from rafters and, uh, Lewithy lining up that, sh that, uh, dart gets a lot of information. Uh, however, that flash just perfectly timed to get some, uh, good info. Showstopper used by Rays doesn't really get much, does cause them to panic just a little bit, force them to back away. And then this death ball of Sunni Canton will hold the rest of it as it's looking like BB Gamer will try to find a weapon. Not quite, just sticking with the Spectre. Um, good attempt by Sunni Potsdam there for that retake. Uh, they used a lot of ults, uh, Sunni Canton did. That with both the Showstopper and the... Fade ults, uh, creating a lot of space and a lot of room for them to maneuver. Uh, so good execute on them. Um, it is looking like they're going to be leaving Sova on that A site all by themselves. However, this time they are going to be doing a pretty heavy push here towards A. Uh, very, it's a light buy here by Sumi Potsdam, so not much behind this. Just kind of your couple pistols and that kind of stuff however quick push by Sunni Canton should have this probably dismantled pretty quickly but we'll we'll see what they can come up with as the cheese getting a couple picks you see Luwathi again pushing their way on the flank about to probably be noted by this turret uh, watching the cheese getting another kill 
probably spells the end of this round, but we'll see what magic uh, Lilithi can pull out at the end, maybe going for a couple exit kills. Uh, just making it a little bit more expensive for them here, as BB Gamer is... Uh, doesn't look like they're going to be able to get much with this Spectre. Pushing forward here and there, but gets picked off by, by the Cheese. So, not a whole lot more you can do. And Frosty finishes the fight. So, that's kind of to be expected from a save round like that. Not a whole lot you can really do there when uh, your weapons are so disadvantaged uh, as they are compared to Vandals and other such weapons. So, um, this should be a full buy round coming back in. Uh, and it looks like it's going to be a little bit of a different setup right this time on B. We have uh, that Viper and the Jet both on this B site uh, instead of the uh, Phoenix. Phoenix and Sober are going to be pushing aggressively through A. Great kill by that op. That's probably, I think, the first op kill we've seen so far. Um, great shot by Chief. And uh, that'll be the Viper's Pit also dropped down on this B site, which is going to cause this rotate here uh, towards the uh, crossfire that uh, Luwethi and Phoenix have set up. Maintain sanity. Uh, great play by them, managing to kind of splice this whole map in half, forcing them to go to places that they hadn't really planned to go as it comes down to this 3v1 now uh that's a great shot by rays and it comes down to a 2v2 or 2v1 but great kill by chief with the op uh managing to win them this round and overall a very good round by suny potstam you noticed an early kill on b with the uh viper's pit being dropped forces the suny can't and uh, team to rotate or try to rotate um, but Luwethi and Maintain Sanity on that Sobo and Phoenix had already pushed all the way up into that their spawn so they had a little bit of a pinch when they tried to rotate out and uh, their the attack just kind of fell apart after that but this looks like another one of those aggressive A pushes uh, with Chief and Luwethi this time here to hopefully hold them back uh that off being pushed off the angle it will be retaken said angle holding close we saw the op do pretty well last round let's see if they can do it again uh here's that uh attacking lockdown great pick by chief not really they weren't really ready for him to be sitting there they knew that the op was in play but the cheese getting that pick and the counter kj ult being dropped great plays uh now do they expect the rotate that they set up for here so all of suny canton has rotated back over towards b where once again a pretty familiar story here we see uh maintain sanity by himself get in <laughs> once again ulted by the uh brim does send his uh his ult in there managing to find something great pick great kill good another one there good job as it now comes down to a 3v2 in this viper's pit frosty going to be lurking around drops very very low though is close gets shot with that by that classic and now comes down to just the kj and a great op shot by chief chief really coming in clutch this round um getting i believe three kills with the op and one with the uh the classic managing to uh finish off a very low viper uh bringing down that old and giving them the opportunity that they needed to finish out that fight so very well done by them uh, as we come into this the 12th round and the final round of this half um as it looks like Suny Canton has not quite decided where they're going to go yet. Maybe leaning towards this B site. Um, trying to decide what site isn't going to have this jet set up. Uh, as we can see on our mini-map, jet set up in A. But, well, they don't know that, do they? They're kind of just hanging out around that entrance to B right now. Not really being noted and maintain sanity is going to fall off the angle. 
So maybe thinking that they're going to rotate. Heiser does manage to spot a couple of the players' heads just in time. Chief pushing through mid does get that op shot as it looks like they were trying. Uh, Sweden Canton was trying to do some kind of split. Now it's kind of left with uh, that breach out of the picture, meaning a lot less push behind their, a uh, lot less danger behind those pushes without those flashes and stuns. Sweden Canton looks a little bit. I don't know if I want to use the word confused, but confused is they're not really sure what to do here. They're kind of spread uh, all around their uh, spawn as they do look like they're maybe leaning towards an A push, but we do see Luwathi here hanging out. Gets a quick kill there. Will they expect the rest of the team? That was Spike dropped. Tries to go for that kill. Gets a little bit of damage. Doesn't quite trade it out, though. As we come over to BB Gamer, the next line of defense, they only have 15, or, well, 10 seconds now to get the spike down. If one of them die, if the spike planter dies, <coughs> excuse me, then that will, they'll run out of time. And it does look like they got that down. And then somehow in that in the entire mess of, of that fight, they do manage to find three picks. Maybe Suni pots them get a little over eager, over aggressive. Uh, trying to stop the spike from going down in the first place and uh, punished for that. And now it comes down to a 2v1. Heiser. One of the, a couple of their players are low. Great headshot. Great kill. Oh, not quite able to finish out that fight. Uh, as MMR Reaper does manage to win that out in the end. Bringing this half to a draw. So it is a 6-6 six, six half. As Sunni Potsdam and Sunni Canton will be switching sides. So we now have uh, Sweeney Potsdam on the attack, looking like they're going to hang out over towards this A site, maybe looking for an A push, although Phoenix is kind of hanging around towards B, maybe looking for some kind of lurk in play, who knows? It's a little early to tell with still 15 seconds left before round starts, but it is looking like it'll be a bit of an A hit um, with some variation. It is also a 2-1-2 set up it uh with a raise actually watching middle not a bad player to watch they do have that molly does uh do quite a bit of damage for anyone pushing up quick info quick push uh as we said earlier an a of push is probably what's to be expected uh, as the rest of the team is following this drone forward seeing what they can find a quick trade uh as a flash to this wall. We've seen these flashes be deadly useful earlier. Uh, more trades. 3v3. As the retake now begins. Couple flashes. Couple stuns. Uh, Lewithi trying to play with what they can. Great kill by the cheese. And they do push through now. Managing to isolate that fight. And it's now just down to Heiser in a 1v3. Does have mollies to work with. Gets one kill, gets two kills. This is a very winnable round now as MMR Reaper is very low. One shot's all you need. And great win by Heiser there as they keep their composure in that 1v, 1v3. Sending out that molly, forcing them off of that spike defuse. Great plays by Suni Potstim as Heiser manages to lock down that spike plan and Get them a much needed pistol round win. That's a great start to this half. Uh, and hopefully they'll be able to steamball it from steamroll it from here. So we will see. Uh, as we come out with this next buy, it should be a Yep, it's looking like it did last round with a actually even a vandal thrown into the mix here on Chief, and then a full save by the um, SUNY Canton team. As we will watch Chief here. He does have this Vandal. It's uh, a risky investment so early on uh, in, in the game, but can pay dividends as it is a very good weapon. Um, drone scouts out. Lothi pushing up as the all of Sun Canton is kind of playing in these backwards positions and just blind spam there. Manages to take down that Vandal we were talking about earlier, but they are traded out. So it now comes down to a 4v3. A good post plant setup here. Uh, KJ's got Molly's on that bomb. Um, 
we even have Phoenix watching the flank, so pretty well set up to handle any kind of aggression here. As we'll see, probably even, you have even a Viper uh, Molly left in the mix to do a little extra damage if needed. But it is looking like they are sticking to, they just stuck to defuse though. I don't really know what happened. Maybe they weren't in position i i don't i don't know what to tell you about that one it should have been a pretty easy hold but looks like just a little bit of a blunder there maybe not thinking about uh somebody being able to plant there maybe they were trying to spam through the wall and not able to hit their shots it did look like that player was left at a very very low hp but unfortunately sony canton does manage to pull that round out from a bit of a miracle honestly uh, weapons weren't great for them, and they were in a kind of a bad position. So we'll see if Sunny Potsdam can make it up here. It is going to be a bit of a half buy, mainly just weapons saved over from the last round, as they no one really died. Um, but it will be against a full rifle round by the defense here in Sunny Canton. So it is another A hit here, but looking like it'll be some kind of an A split, as we do have a couple people working their way through mid. Working their way over towards B, actually. Looking at A, deciding it's not quite for them. Pushing forward. First challenge is going to be this breach. And this breach has been dangerous all game long so far. So let's see what they can come up with this time. As There's got to be some kind of util to clear this breach. And they do notice him. But it does look like he's going to run. And does get picked off, so a pretty good trade overall, things considered. Uh, that is a weapon on the ground, but most likely not recoverable by Sunni Potsdam, at least until they take control of the site. Um, there is util put in place here to deny the spike, at least temporarily. They do, however, recover this weapon. So, with the all the way in Snowman, are they going to be expecting it? Swings, whiffs a little bit on MMR Reaper, getting that kill, and the spike did go down though. So it becomes this 4v3 retake for Sunni Canton as they do push through. It doesn't look like there's really any util on the spike. Maintain Sanity, getting a great kill there, popping his ult, stalling for more time. Oh, gets picked off on a swing, and unfortunately, the weapon disadvantage is just a little bit too great. And Sunni Potsdam unable to quite close that out, but good damage done, a uh, good couple of kills, and they'll be going into this next round with uh, full buy, full guns on both teams. 8 7 in favor of Sunni Canton, so let's see what Sunni Potsdam can do to turn it around and even up the scoreline a little bit. They're again hanging outside of A, so we'll see what they decide to do going forward. Uh, we saw them last round start on A and head over towards B. There are a couple of pings going down towards B, maybe looking like they want to consider going there next. But this is the com no, it's not the committal of the Viper Wall. So they are gonna slowly push their way f into A with a couple people. The spike included going over towards B. So it's looking like they're going to try to make some noise. Great pick by uh, Lothi on A. Maybe trying to draw some attention. That This looks like it's uh, supposed to be a bit of a fake. As Breach is here waiting. They don't clear him though. He d does get one kill and drop that spike. So they do know that he is going to be here. They know that th that's a bit of a fake. However, still a couple picks got in mid, and Chief left in a little bit of a 1v1 for now with this KJ, but the rest of the team has fallen back to help Frosty getting a pick in mid, causing a rotate here. It is now a 3v2 for this post plant. As it does look like Chief is playing a little bit aggressively, we'll soon he can't be expecting that though. It does not look like that they are, as that is a great first kill, and a spam through the smoke is the second. So very well done by Sunni Potsdam, managing to stabilize and bring that round back. Um, bring this to an 
game so far. Very well done on both teams here as it's been a very close one. Um, no one really having a dominant edge. It's been pretty even thro uh, throughout the board. So Great call-in uh, by both teams doing those fakes. Uh, great job by uh, Breach on the other team. Not really rotating too early and managing to catch out a couple of people. Um, however, only able to get one or two. As we now have a bit of... It's a full buy, but there is a stinger in the mix for uh, that Breach we were talking about a second ago. Uh, can be a pretty dangerous weapon if, if, not, if, if you're not careful. Uh, Yellow Thief managed to get a pick on BB Gamer. So that's a lot of that... that Util uh, for that post plant taken out of the equation and then that flank watch too. So 4v2 spike does get planted and here comes that breach ult. It'll uh, stun up everybody on site. Does help a lot here for this retake. Elo thief, thief getting a quick couple kills. Um, and as it comes down to just a couple people left. Great ult though. Denying the spike plant or denying the spike defuse. Doing some damage, getting a kill. Uh, it's now down to Luwathi in a 1v3, and Innershim does manage to shut them down, um, holding that angle quite well. Unfortunately, just that Breach ult stunning everybody up does so much uh, to help for a retake, and not a whole lot you can do there. It was well played by both teams, and unfortunately, um, BB Gamer getting picked so early does mean that. Uh, they didn't have much util to slow uh, the enemy down, but we are looking like a little bit of a default, maybe. Uh, three people towards B, two people on A, maybe going for some distraction and then trying to plant the spike uh, off of that kind of distraction as uh, that Viper Wall, the defense Viper Wall is coming towards B, a lot of noise being made on A. Uh, and you can see those same two players, it was the Jet and the um, KJ, as we saw earlier, are pushing towards this B site with the spike. Uh, Lothi manages to grab that um, orb as they're now going to transition into a B split, it looks like. As a great kill by Heiser taking out that Ray's uh on boiler and that opens up a lot of uh space here as it now is going to be a 3v2 towards uh, the actual b site as the spike goes uh, as the spike was going down uh chief does get picked off luwathi and heiser trying to find good space and both finding picks uh cutting off that rotation great job by both uh luwathi and uh, Heiser here as they did manage to stop but Frosty not quite spotted does manage to get that kill but great job uh, great flank coming in managing to cut off all those rotations from mid shutting them down and uh, ultimately getting them that win uh, great heroics by Frosty on that Viper on the defense managing to almost ace that and clutch it but um, just too many positions unaccounted for and, and not enough uh, space to be able to work with. So well done on both ends there as the scoreline is again tied at 9-9. Nine, nine. So it looks like no matter what one team does, the other team's always ready to come back and, and try to draw this up. So great match so far. Um, you can feel that both teams are really trying their hardest and putting a lot into this so this drone goes forward scouting out does notice the raise there so they do have some util to try to get her out of that spot there goes the um phoenix ult there great job by him managing to pick off the um raise doing a lot of damage there uh and lubathy doing a ton of damage to that breach finished off perfectly by um bb gamer as they are not bb Gamer. my bad sorry uh chief actually so pushing through here chief getting another great kill brings it down to a 4v2 and weapons aren't looking particularly great as chief once again pushing forward 4k for him great job um 
that's what you want to see out of your jet. You're getting a lot of damage down, a lot of damage done. Um, being that spearhead, uh, taking those fights because if the jet dies, then it's not the biggest deal. If your um, say Soba dies, then then you've got a little bit of an issue. That's a lot of your recon out. So jet being able to push forward and, and get those kills is, is crucial in these fights. Is it's deterring the enemy from being able to retake and and, and push. So very well done by Chief, uh, getting a lot of kills there. Um, and we watch now as it looks like another A split. They've seemed to favor this A side and A side has been their, their weaker site. As far as the defense is concerned, a early, early Viper ult on B, uh, shutting down their, that entrance. So it is looking like there's only one person on this A site, even despite, that ult being put down on B as we have two people watching mid though they are that raise is rotating back as the rest of the team is pushing forward here let's see what they come up with they have given up the site are they on a low buy no it is a full buy against a full buy so they ha the Sunni uh, Sunni can has given up essentially the site to play this retake it is looking like Heiser hanging out on the flank, be waiting. Chief holding this aggressive angle, but here comes this uh, ult from Fade. Once again, doing quite a bit to push them back, followed up by this lockdown. Now, if they're not careful, while this lockdown is going on, they can go for this uh, diffuse. One of them does get caught. But it shouldn't be too big of an issue. BB Gamer, massive play by them. Uh, managing to get two quick kills and Chief hopping up onto that, uh, onto uh, tubes there, pipes, whichever you prefer, does manage to get a quick kill on the uh, diffuser, stopping them from pulling off one of those diffuses that happened earlier. So well done by them. It is now 11-9, a great scoreline, a great start, or uh, a great close to finish here for uh, SUNY Potsdam as that gives them a pretty good edge here, and it's going to be a full stinger buy uh, for the defense, which means their money is pretty low, but they're still trying to accomplish something. That faded eye does spot basically everybody, but she does get punished for it, so we see this... Uh, Jet doing what, I, what they do best, pushing forward, doing some damage, getting a couple kills. Uh, dies to Frosty, but looks like damage control is already done and kills are already being completed. Great kill. The cheese definitely pulling their weight. Oh, dropping down, runs out of bullets. Unfortunate for them uh, as they fall right into Maintain Sanity's lap. So. We'll go forward now. It's now twelve to nine round or match point. Uh, one more win for Sunny Potsdam, and that's the end of this map. So, let's see what they can do. It will be a full gun round, a five v five, all rifles, as it is it's once again looking like Sunny Potsdam is headed towards this A site. Maybe an A push, maybe a split, maybe a, d a decoy. Who knows? They do have a lot of ults to work with. This Viper ult, this KJ ult, even the uh, Sova ult. So any tags could be fatal here for them. Maintain Sanity picking up an orb. Chief already very low, but here's that Killjoy ult coming in. It's going to lock down the side and give them that plant. So massive, massive value for them. Um, 6 HP on Chief. Looking for probably one kill and then to get traded off of it um, does get a little bit of damage falls back gets picked unfortunate on that end but not a whole lot you can do BB gamer um, setting down a couple little t uh, parting gifts for the opposition as a quick trade surprise that they didn't drop the Viper ult as that would have could have secured this round. 
but great util 3v3 the diffuser is going down however that silver ult denying so much uh space so much room and it does come down to a 1v2 big pick no time left and that will be suny potsdam winning the first map very well done by them amazing plays all around on both teams and overall a very close and competitive match so looking forward to the next map